Hello and welcome. Well, that was that was, that was a lot of energy. Yeah, that's too much. It's a lot of energy. Let's try that again. Hello and welcome to Thought Bubbles. Ty Venom Three: The Last Dance is just on the horizon. Are you excited to see the Venom Horse in all of its glory? I probably went more excited than you are. Uh, I mean. I'm not generally a fan of the Venom movies, especially the first one. I didn't yeah, you really think care Upgrade for. is better than Venom. I think Upgrade's a solid oh, version of the Venom movie. I, I don't think you gave it a fair shot. But anyways, the, the Venom horse, it's, it's storming its way into theaters. We're getting Null in the movie. Although I did hear recently that Null is, um, he's going to be like a very much like a, a, a like a back kind of antagonist for the whole thing. And yeah, I imagine. He's too big to of a bad to movie. have. It, exactly. Yeah. Because, I mean, he's... He's cosmic in scale. It's very it's, cosmic. It's, it's hard to characterize something like that. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're getting prepped for Venom 3 today, and I thought we could look at a Venom comic book. Not just any Venom comic book, though. I, I had a bit of a, a poke around the internet, and uh, I looked up worst Venom comics ever. <laughs> okay, I imagine there's a decent amount to choose from. Yeah, there was a bunch of goofy stuff in the 90s. Oh, yeah. I imagine and, most uh, Venom stuff's pretty poor. I, I stumbled upon a few stories that I thought would be like, oh, this this could be good, or, or, or maybe this, you know? But then I stumbled upon this one, and I'm like, oh, this is perfect. Not only does it feature our man Tom Hardy, I, I mean, Eddie Brock. <laughs> Tom uh, Hardy's in this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it also features a, a very popular Marvel character, especially as of late. Anyways, uh, have you ever heard of a Venom storyline called Venom Tooth and Claw? Nope. All right, let's get into it. This is from 1996. It is written by Larry Hama, who, uh, Larry Hama, he's, he's really popular for uh, a G.I. Joe series. Basically gave the G.I. Joe, like, personalities. Because before then, they were just, like, your yeah. standard action hero. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's so neat. It's got art by um, Joe St. Pierre. Very French. Very French. Yeah. I, I just got to say it. Look, all art is subjective, but this is some dog shit. Like Captain America bad, or? Uh, oh, you're thinking of uh, Rob Liefeld with the... Oh, yeah, Rob Liefeld. Big, big yeah, yeah, Captain yeah, America. yeah. The, the yeah. wide chest. I mean, we're going to be looking at some strange torsos today, but I'm just going to apologize to Joe St. Pierre up top because we are going to trash his art today. Okay, okay. well, if his stuff is trash, then he deserves it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, let's get into trashing it. Uh, so we open up. We're on uh, Lower Manhattan. Eddie Brock, he's having a stroll. He's like, hey, I'm walking here. You know how New Yorkers <laughs> do it, right? <laughs> he's, yeah. he's doing that classic New Yorker he's thing. He's from New York. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, he's walking down the street and he walks past this alley, right? And a voice calls out to him from inside the alley. And uh, he's like, hey, you talking to me? You talking to me? That's my De Niro Are you going to do a lot of Robert De Niro stuff this episode? Or? <laughs> that was it. That was it. I, just, I just planned it for up top and the rest of it's going to gonna be pretty chill. The voice, he wants him to come down the alley and he, he meets this giant rat named Dirt Nap. Real that, name. That's a pretty good name, honestly. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Dirt Nap. He uh, he's got a, he's got a business proposition for our boy Eddie. I thought we weren't gonna do any more De Niro. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh he's like I got I got something for you, and Eddie's like, okay, yeah, sure, I'll I'll hear what this giant rat has to say. Why not? It's it's the Marvel universe. I can I can listen to a giant rat for a little bit. Uh, so turns out Dirt Nap's deal is he wants to eat him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, he's a big boy. Yeah, he gets he gets bigger. Uh, so Dirt Nap wants to eat him, right? Eddie, he, he morphs into Venom to, to try to fight him off. You're expecting a big punch up, right? Yeah, naturally. Yeah. Uh, no, he just he just swallows him. Oh, he, yeah. he just he just gets right in there. Yeah, and it turns out that whoever Dirt Nap eats, he absorbs their genetic code and uh, basically can disguise himself as that person. He's Kirby. <laughs> He's Kirby. He's, he's got the Kirby power. Uh, so, anyways, he, he transforms into into Eddie, and uh, he he's off to go meet with somebody. So he he walks off. Eddie Brock needs a manicure. Yeah, he's not. His fingernails aren't that, looking that, good. The ring finger that is chipped something fierce. You that's, know that uh, does not feel good. That's uh, that's Joe Saint Pierre for you. He just loves his grubby fingernails. All right. Then we cut to these super cool '90s. Oh kids. hell yeah! Right. Now we're in the '90s yeah, for sure. Yeah, we got Jerry and Rocky. And they are shredding around New York, uh, around like this, like subway station. Uh, watch me go vert. <laughs> Actual line from this. Comic <laughs> Let's book. go subterranean. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, fucking Rocky. He's uh, he's like, look at me. I'm I'm doing a big skateboard, and uh, he ends up basically getting sucked into like this janitor closet. And Jerry's like, Rocky, no. <laughs> Yo, what? What? What is a wild reaction? 
<laughs> so they get sucked into this janitor's closet, right? And uh, they find this like metallic looking football. <laughs> and uh, they're, they're messing around with it and they end up flipping the switch on the football, right? And it turns into like a crazy alien ship. Way cool. Uh, and uh, meanwhile, while, while all this is happening, we got uh, everyone's favorite Marvel character, Donna Diego, running around the same New York subway station. You know fucking, who Donna Diego is? Fucking who? Yeah. Uh, Donna Diego actually scream. Oh, okay. That yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Another, another 90s symbiote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Actually, yeah. I think I might have actually, I think I did know that. Yeah. Deep down, you, you knew in your heart who Donna I Diego think I maybe was. Knew that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She's also looking for this little football, right? That little football, it actually belongs to this alien race known as the Xenophage. They are alien creatures who their favorite delicacy is symbiotes. They recently had this big event in Marvel Comics right before all this happened. It was called Planet of the Symbiotes and basically a bunch of symbiotes came to Earth yeah, and yeah, invaded. Right. It was a lot. Yeah, I don't want to get into it right now. It's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> also, the, the Xenophage ship, uh, it has the ability to track symbiotes. Okay, that's going to come back later. Okay. So she's looking for this uh, Xenophage ship. She sees all this these lights and smoke going off in this janitor's closet. She decides to go investigate and uh, she sees the two kids like messing with it. She's like, hey, Get away from there, you damn kids. They end up pressing this this big red button, which you should you should never do. Almost never. I just feel like it's just like common knowledge, but it was the 90s. And uh, the ship folds up in itself and takes off towards the current symbiote it's tracking. Damn. Our hero, Venom. Our hero, Dirt Nap. Dirt Nap. <laughs> Back in Manhattan, Dirt Nap, he's, he's disguised as Eddie Brock. He's, he's having a stroll. He's off to meet somebody. And uh, he's having a hard time keeping his lunch down. That tracks. Eddie Brock's a big boy. Yeah, we've all been there. Uh, so yeah, he, he arrives for his meeting. And uh, who is there? Famous Marvel character, Wolverine. The scream. The scream is also there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so he's he's hanging out uh, at this office. But, I mean, j he's got his motorbike in here. How, yeah. How did he even get that up there? You had to take that through an elevator. There's there's a whole series of steps that, that involve getting he's this rode, motorcycle he up. He just rode it up the stairs. I guess he did, yeah. He's Wolverine. This is the yeah. 90s. Yeah, maybe there's a whole separate <laughs> issue that explains it. Yeah, so anyways, uh, he takes a seat in the waiting room, and Wolverine, he starts getting suspicious. And he's like, he's sniffing him out. He's like, I smell somebody I've smelled before. Bub. And uh, Dirt, Dirt Nap's getting worried. He's like, oh, no. He's like, I, I definitely recognize this dude. We, we had a run in a few issues ago, and it's it's not going to go well for me if he recognizes who I am. And Wolverine's like, do I know you, bub? And he's like, are you talking to me? All right, that was, that, that was it. That was my last one. Uh, De Niro's back. Yeah, and uh, uh, Wolverine, he's getting suspicious, and he's like, look. I don't really like what you're all about. Let's, 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 let's raise our uh Is this Eddie's sleeves. apartment? No, this is... Uh, Wait, where is this? Why is Wolverine here? What's he doing here? So this is the uh, the office of Landau, Luckman, and Lake. Famous Marvel team. <laughs> okay, thank uh, you for clearing that up. Yeah, we, can well, we can move on Well, now. so the reason he's here is... Uh, I, I don't really know why. It's, it's kind of vague. Actually, right now, Wolverine, he's teamed up with this kid named Emmett. He's cable. Yeah, he cable, looks like he, cable light. He looks like little kid cable. But uh, Emmett, he's the uh, the office boy of uh, Landau, Lakeman, and and Lack, whatever it's called. Whatever I said earlier, it's it's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, like like you said, he he looks a lot like cable. He's kitted out. He's got guns on guns. He's got a lot of different explosive devices on him. He's got his little Dragon Ball Z headset on as well. Oh uh, yeah, so Emmett's there, and uh, Emmett's like, "Hey, who's your friend?" And Wolverine's like, "I don't fucking know this guy." And uh, Emmett's like, "All right, well, I I just have I just conveniently have." have this like scanner on me because I'm from of the future course. or whatever. I yeah, don't know. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he, he does a little scan on Eddie Brock and uh, finds out that he's got three central nervous systems going on, which I think is, that's one too many. Uh, yeah, at least. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they, they get more suspicious of this guy and uh, Dirt Naps, he's finally like, all right, the jig is up and uh, he starts chomping. Wolverine goes on the attack. This is actually the era of Wolverine where... Uh, he's bone clawing right now, huh? That's true, yeah. So Magneto yeah. had actually removed the adamantium, adamantium from his skeleton. Yeah, he's got the uh, he's got the bone claws right now. I'm not sure if they make that s sound effect, you know? It's probably more of like a fleshy, gross sound yeah, effect yeah, instead. Yeah. What's the fleshiest, gross sound effect we can find? To, I'll, put, I'll put it in the video. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be in the video. <laughs> yeah, so he's got his bone claws right now. Before really anything gets going, Dirt Nap, like I said earlier, he's having a hard time keeping his lunch down. Turns out he can't digest symbiotes. Something in his system, his enzymes, can't break down symbiote goo. And uh, Eddie manages to free himself. And he rips himself right out of there. He's like, rah! So Eddie gets free. 
and uh, he's, he's climbing out. Emmett, he starts blasting in the confusion. Uh, anyway. And Wolverine, he goes in for the kill on Dirtnap. And ah. uh, he ends up like fully up chucking Venom. And before Wolverine can uh, can get to him, Dirtnap turns into this kid, right? And in a preview. Kill the kid. No. <laughs> <laughs> they're not they're not slaughtering children in this story. Uh, but in a previous issue, Dirtnap actually he consumed this kid, took on his his oh, genetic. So he form. already killed the kid. Well, uh, well maybe maybe we'll, <laughs> we'll find out. Wolverine decides like ah I, I can't kill this kid until we get this this other kid out of here. But Eddie he he does not have the same restrictions and he's like fuck that. I am killing this kid right fucking now. Venom takes off after him, but Wolverine's not going to let him have it. He's like, nah. Just at that moment, the little football that uh, our, our friends Jerry, Rocky, and Donna all ended up in, they just come through the window and they boink Venom right on the noggin. Not the noggin. Yep. Uh, yeah, so Dirt Nap, he uses this momentary distraction to escape. Venom takes off after him. The football's in tow. Emmett's still blasting. Wolverine's like, what is going on? Uh, it turns out there's just a, uh, a warp chamber just just hanging out in the office as there usually are yeah yeah that's how i got here <laughs> to your to your house through the warp chamber <laughs> through the warp chamber <laughs> and uh dirt nap he, he makes a break for the uh, the warp chamber venom actually catches up with dirt nap and uh, just as he's about to uh hop in the warp chamber the football makes another pass and just hits venom <laughs> right on the head again damn <laughs> venom is a terrible wide receiver yeah he's not very good uh, Dirt Nap, he morphs back into his rat form and he jumps through the warp chamber and Venom's like, oh, no, you don't. And he takes off after him. And Wolverine and Emmett are just left there like, well, I guess we're a part of this adventure now. And uh, Wolverine, he goes and he suits up and he's like, it's time to do what I do best, bub. It's Wolven time. It's Wolven time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so <laughs> the warp chamber it, it ends up leading them to uh this like space in between realities okay dirt nap he leaps through venom's hot on his heels the football's following him and venom is just about to catch dirt nap when the football comes around for a third pass and bonks him on the head <laughs> <sighs> at that moment wolverine and emmett they, they burst through on wolverine's motorcycle they're here now too and uh, the the football it finally i, I guess it, it didn't realize this before but it's finally caught up with its target and it starts re-expanding and uh, ends up just shooting out its passengers, Jerry, Rocky, and Donna, our favorites. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. And uh, Dirtnap still on the run. Emmett's blasting, and uh, he's trying to take out Dirtnap. Venom, he's he's about to close in on Dirtnap when uh, Dirtnap morphs back into the kid. Wolverine's like, oh, yeah, I, I remember why I'm doing this. And uh, he stops Emmett from blasting. Venom, he's, he's got uh, Dirtnap by the tongue. He's like, ah! Wolverine's like, I gotta I gotta stop this. I gotta, I gotta intervene. He's like, Emmett, jump off. I'm gonna hit Venom with this motor cycle and uh, just as venom is about to, to go in for the kill he's like hey stop that and uh hits him with the motorcycle it's really hard to tell what's going on in this panel I, i'm not even sure if he hits him with it yeah uh so in the confusion uh dirt nap he still disguises that kid he starts making a run towards jerry rocky and donna and uh our titular heroes yes and donna's like i, I don't know what's up with this kid but i i don't like it and she actually morphs into scream dirt nap at that moment he, mor he morphs into like this rat human amalgamation guy and scream ends up getting a, a good shot in on him but uh dirt nap just just swallows her <laughs> just, oh okay it, just, it takes no time at all and um disguises himself as uh, a scream kids run away bet him he uses his tendrils he grabs up scream and slams her up against the wall and at that moment the real antagonist of the piece this dominatrix lady named chimera pops out kamami yeah <laughs> So it turns out uh, Chimera, she's this like intergalactic space pirate. And uh, in, in previous issues of Wolverine, she was actually hired to help rebond uh, Wolverine's adamantium skeleton to Wolverine. But it, it didn't turn out the way everybody had hoped. And uh, now she's she's looking to kill Wolverine. Right? Okay. And uh, she also has uh, a hand that talks to her and like it, it has its own voice and its own thoughts. <laughs> uh, J-Lo from South Park. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, it's very much like that. Yeah. yeah she's She's got, a, she's got a little hand puppet, and the hand puppet's like, hey, who are these guys? Kill these pricks. Oh. And uh, so she sends these um, these plasma wraiths out to uh, to stop Venom Yo. and Wolverine. And they're basically just guys in gym suits. I got to say, these gym suits are a lot nicer than the one I have at home. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I've seen yours before. <laughs> I'm not not a fan. And so Emmett, he starts blasting. Wolverine pops his bone claws, and, and Venom's there too, isn't he? He's, he's doing stuff. Oh, yeah. This is a Venom story. Yeah. Yeah. They all start fighting these gimp guys. Meanwhile, Jerry and Rocky, they, they make their way back to the Xenophage ship. They, they manage to get it working again, but before they can take off out of there, Chimera grabs them up using 
using some sort of like weird energy construct. Uh, and as you'll learn throughout this limited series, her powers are very vague. Does her hair change colors? Apparently, she yeah, it was blonde. It was blonde, it was blonde and panel. she's a white woman. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so she she grabs the the football and uh, Dirt Nap disguised the scream is like, hey, we, we make a pretty good team, right? I mean, I haven't done anything, but you're, I mean, I'm here and you're here and we're both bad guys, right? And uh, she's like, excuse moi. She's like, are you talking to me? And uh, the scream's like, yeah, yeah, I am. The hand's like, screw this. Just take her with us. Let's 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 get out of here. Uh, so they leave. Venom and Wolverine, they're, they're still dealing with these plasma wraiths. They end up making short work of them, it seems like. They, they finally, they, 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 t- they start talking, and Venom's like, I don't like you. And Wolverine's like, I don't like you either, bub. And he's like, but we, uh, we, we have common goals. He's like, yeah. And uh, he's like, we should, we should do a, a classic superhero team up. And he's like, I guess. You know, it's, it's have a misunderstanding, have a common ground. Yeah, team yeah, up. yeah, 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 team up. Yeah. Yeah, so they team up, do a do a cool little fist bump. Do the fist bump. Yeah, they uh, they head back in between the space, in between realities, and they're like, "Where the fuck do we go?" And it uh, turns out Emmett has a an advanced thermal trace imaging device. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, yes. What? How, did, how did you know? <laughs> They're standard issue. Oh yeah, yeah. Everybody at Landau, uh, Lake, Landau, and Lake, Luck and Lanson, and, and yeah, yeah, Larry. Yeah, 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 they yeah. all got it. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, he uses it to track. Camara's footprints. Camara, she she's off and, and she's ahead of them and and she's like, oh, dirt nap, you you ruined my plan. I had a that whole thing going and uh, she's like, but you're gonna help me with my plan B and uh, dirt nap's like, yeah, I guess. And they head off. They, they take off towards this this ladder. It leads them into this room. Somehow they've they've doubled back to the warp chamber that they originally arrived in. Uh, Camara's like, all right, I gotta. Uh, here's my plan B. Right, I'm gonna take this lepton imploder and uh, she she removes it from her cleavage. Mm-hmm. Probably not a safe place to keep that. I wonder how it was in there, considering I had taken up permanent residence. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you know she, you guys can both fit. She's got a lot going on in there, and uh, and she puts it on the uh, the warp chamber. Turns out when you blow up a warp chamber, it just turns into a black hole, and uh, yeah. so it's it's black hole and all about the place. She's got like some sort of stasis field around her that makes it to where like she's not affected by the black hole, uh, and uh, she grabs Scream and they leave. Uh, but anyways, they're they're right behind her. Basically, uh, Wolverine's like, hey. Uh, we're, we're gonna catch up with this dirt nap feller, and uh, when we get there, he's like, "Don't, don't kill him, bub." And Venom's like, "All right, I guess." So they climb up this ladder, and instantly, like as soon as they get in there, the black hole starts grabbing him up. Starts black holing. Starts black holing, yeah. And uh, Wolverine is is sucked in immediately. He's got his bone claws, although he manages to to stick to the sides. Venom uses his tendrils to kind of lock in to uh, to the ladder where they're at. He's holding Emmett, and uh, he kind of like bungees down into the black hole. He retrieves Wolverine, saves him. It's it's it's, it's getting worse, and Emmett's like, "Oh, I, I have the perfect thing for this." He's he has saving this QED, this <laughs> quark emulation disruptor. Yep, tosses his quark emulation disruptor, and uh, I guess it it basically like reverses the polarity of the black yeah, hole. Yeah, it emulates quark. Emmett's a handy little dude. He's got a lot going on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, the room is fine. Everybody's fine, and uh, so they they take off back on Camara's trail. Yeah, so uh, that that plan didn't work. Uh, so Camara, she's she's de- she's done with Plan A, Plan B's out. But luckily, she's got a she's got a Plan C, uh, and she's waiting for them in her dimension with a group of plasma wraiths. She's got more of them. Oh, okay. These ones are kind of spiky. Yeah, well, it's the nineties. Yeah, gotta be. <laughs> All right, so our uh, our ragtag group of heroes. Uh, so they, they pull up, and uh, immediately they see Dirt Nap, and Dirt Nap's all uh, all tied up. And uh, basically, he's, he's disguised as the kid. It's it's obviously a trap. Uh, Dirt Nap's like, oh, oh, I've been a bad little rat. Oh, help me, help me. And uh, as bad, bad little rat. Oh, you bad little you rat. Oh, bad Dirt little Nap. Rat. Oh. Dirt, Nap. Dirt, Nap. Dirt Nap been a bad <laughs> little rat. <laughs> Camara, she's, she's waiting around the corner. And she's like, wait for it. Wait for it. And uh, Venom's like, he's like, all right, this is, this is boring. The art is bad. I just want to be done with this limited series. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, no, that's that's just me projecting. But <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Wolverine's like, "Oh no, we had a deal," and uh, Venom's like, "Screw you, Howie Mandel." And uh, they get into a tussle. Venom's he's 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 doing his tongue thing. You know, you know how he is. It's wrapped all the way around now. Oh yeah, Camara, she's she's had enough of this. She's like, "All right, plasma wraiths, gimps, you go go deal with that shit." Like I'm I'm over this. But Emmett. He uh, he actually snuck around the back and he dropped a photon grenade on top of most of her gimps. And uh, only a few of them kind of make it out. Wolverine, he goes for Chimera. Venom, he, he starts fighting the wraiths. Turns out 
Chimera also has telekinetic powers, and uh, she uses them to uh, to chain Wolverine up. Okay. Very, very kinky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Venom, he's, he's going for these plasma wraiths. He, he gets in a, a big tussle with them. Wolverine, he's, he's pinned up, and uh, they're, her hand... Did I mention her hand has a lisp, by the way? <laughs> No, no, you didn't. It does. It, <laughs> oh, wow. It's like, kill, kill this quick. Yeah, that's, that's what it says. It's a loud daffy. And she sends out another energy construct. It ends up just freeing Wolverine from his, his chains. So not not a great move on oh, her yeah, part. Oh, yeah, what a, what a homie. Yeah. He, uh, he tackles Camara. She ends up dropping the uh, the football. Uh, Venom. He's he's finishing up with the uh, the gimps. He's with Pinhead. Uh, Dirt Nap. He's like Venom. Help me! I'm 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 just a little boy. And and Venom's like, Oh no, you're not. And he's like, You got my friend in there. She's like, You you wouldn't hurt your friend Donna Diego, now would you? And Venom's like, Nah, I I, I definitely would. So he ends up getting Dirt Nap in a uh, in a chokehold. And Wolverine's like, Venom, we had a deal. Camara uses the the momentary distraction to to blast him and. and and all the confusion that the football it's 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 rolling off and it he takes off after it wolverine he, he recovers from that blast he's uh he's like oh now i'm mad and and i you know i can't make this up ty he literally says we're going to throw down city for the stomping marathon that's got to be one of the worst one-liners i've ever seen you've been to throw down city yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. I might actually have a small apartment in yeah, uh, yeah. Throwdown City. Yeah, here's yeah, it's really man. nice in the winter. It's you really been to nice. the Stompin' Marathon? A, a couple times. Can't wait to get back to Throwdown City. <clears throat> anyway, what were we talking about? Wolverine's taking her to Throwdown City. That's that's <laughs> that's where we're going, right? Hands up, just grabbing her by the leg and slamming her into the wall. The Gimps, they're they're back in action. So Wolverine, he goes in on the plasma wraiths. Venom, he's still trying to uh, choke hold Dirt Nap over here. And he ends up forcing Scream out of Dirt Nap's mouth. She's like, "You damn dirty fuck." rat she's yeah, like yeah, uh, yeah, you yeah. are mine so uh she's got dirt nap in a chokehold venom and wolverine they're having another misunderstanding while dirt nap is in the chokehold she manages to upchuck uh special agent daryl smith uh also the kid that wolverine's been looking for and the rat the rat that dirt nap turns into he got, he got out of there too oh yeah and uh then dirt nap turns back into this like grubby old wrinkly man that's like this is my true form yeah, it looks, looks like adrian tombs he does kind of have like a vulture vibe to him <laughs> yeah meanwhile uh rock Rocky and Jerry, they're, they're trying to figure out this interface ship. They're just they're just pressing all the buttons. They don't know what they're doing. And uh, Special Agent Daryl Smith, he's like, "You're coming with me, Dirt Nap. The the kid is safe. Everybody's everybody's good. They got Dirt Nap apprehended." And they're like, "Yeah, this is this is good. We did it. Good good job, everybody." Special Agent Daryl Smith looks like a Gears of War character. Look <laughs> at his shoulders. He's all cover base shooting. <laughs> Uh, Camaro's like, I'm not out yet, right? And she's got more lepton imploders, presumably tucked away in her cleavage. Uh, she throws the lepton imploders. It creates a massive black hole in the room. Okay. So everybody's getting sucked into this black hole, and Camaro's like, ah, oh, this is this is great. Everybody's gonna die, even if I die. That's cool. I'm I'm fine with that. And uh, Rocky and Jerry, they're like, oh no, what are we gonna do? And they end up pressing more buttons. They finally figure out the the correct series of buttons to turn the little football back into the Xenophage ship. They uh, they they pull up and they, they rescue everybody. Camara and, and Dirt Nap, they're, they're struggling to get away from the black hole's gravitational pull, and they both end up black holing into the black hole. Uh, yeah, so back on the uh, the Xenophage ship, the heroes, they're they're floating off in the, the vastness of space, and they're like, all right, now what? Turns out Jerry and Rocky, they're, they're now uh, Xenophage technology experts, and they know how to fly the ship just fine. Okay. Yeah, and um, so they, they set the tracker to uh, go to the uh, the next target for the ship, which is Cletus Cassidy. But don't worry, he's not he's not in the story. Oh, okay, yeah. that would have been a lot. So they get the ship on a on a course back to Earth, and they're like, "Good job, we did it. Everything's great." Okay, yeah, and uh, the ship flies off, and that's the end of the adventure. They did it. Ty, what'd you think? Yeah, no, that was pretty awful. <laughs> well, don't tell the people at home. <laughs> oh, they've already made it to the end of the video. It's fine. Uh, thank you for joining us today on another episode of Thought Bubbles. Please leave a like on this video if you if you liked this. You know, that's you should do that. Yeah, that yeah, tracks. yeah. I mean, you could dislike it too. I guess I'm not dislike this video if you liked this video. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna do us. We'll uh, we'll see you again on the, the next time. Yes, sir. Dragon Ball Z. Yep. Goodbye. Right. Don't you, don't you have a sign off? I love you. That's it. That's your sign. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's the end of the video. All right. Bye. <laughs>